Hi, welcome to the Magic of Math, where today we're going to answer a standardized math test question where we need to convert milliliters to liters. So we're converting metric units. Here's our question. A case of soda has 12 cans. Each can holds 360 milliliters of soda. What is the total number of liters of soda in the case? I'm going to ask you to pause and solve now. Come back and hit play when you're ready. Welcome back. So I like to draw a picture to visualize the problem. So the first thing we need to understand is that we're finding the liters of soda in a case. All of these answers are liters. We are given for information that we have a case of soda with 12 cans. So we have our case of soda with 12 cans. Then we're told that each can holds 360 milliliters. So when I look at one of these cans, it has 360 milliliters, and we want to know the total number of liters of soda in the entire case. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply 360 by 12, and that will tell me the total number of milliliters in the case. So let's go ahead and set this up. 360 multiplied by 12. 0 times 2 is 0. 2 times 6 is 12, bring down the 2, carry the 1. 2 times 3 is 6, plus 1 is 7. To start my next row, I'm going to bring my 0, my placeholder, and then multiply. 1 times 0, 0. 1 times 6, 6. 1 times 3 is 3. Remember that 1 was from our first row of multiplication. Now we're going to add 0 plus 0 is 0. 2 plus 0 is 2. 7 plus 6 is 13, carry the 1, and 1 plus 3 is 4. So we can now bring that up here and know that we are going to have 4,320 milliliters in the entire case. One more step. We need to take our milliliters and convert it to liters to match our answers. So when we do that, we need to understand that when we go from milliliters to liters, we are getting to a larger quantity that represents, but our number gets smaller. So there are 1,000 milliliters in one liter. So to go, we're going to divide by 1,000. So 1,000 milliliters is equivalent to one liter. So we're dividing by 1,000. When you divide by 1,000, what you're doing is you're taking your decimal point and you're moving it three digits to the left because it's getting smaller. So you divide by 1,000, dividing by those three zeros represent three decimal places. So when I do that, I get divide by 1,000, and I'm going to get 4.320, or 4 and 32 hundredths. So now we're ready to go check our answer, and we can see that it's answer choice B. This zero is not significant, so this is 4 and 32 hundred liters is our answer. I thank you for joining me today at The Magic of Math where we continue to master math one video at a time. I hope you'll come back again tomorrow. Please subscribe, give me a thumbs up and a comment, and have a great day.